Biden administration now granting pardons for some people with federal marijuana convictions. It applies to those with simple marijuana possession convictions, giving them the opportunity for a fresh slate. NBC 5's Adrian Pastor joins us live from Montpelier this morning. Adrian, how could these pardons affect some Vermonters? Yeah, Zuri Lauren, good morning. Officials I spoke with tell me while this move indicates a shift in the federal view of the cannabis industry, Vermont has been way ahead of the game for quite some time. As the Biden administration takes a major step forward pardoning those with federal marijuana convictions, the state's Cannabis Control Board chair says they're nothing compared to the work already being done in Vermont. They are largely symbolic. They don't, you know, move anyone out of federal prison. They don't mitigate the harms that those convictions caused. Control Board Chair James Pepper thinks the president's pardons are a step in the right direction. The board is responsible for regulating marijuana in the state, often granting opportunities to those impacted by the once locally criminalized industry. In 2006, I was arrested uh, for three plants, probably about that tall. Um, it was a, related to a noise complaint, and they ended up at our, at our place. And uh, because of that, I served 45 days in jail. Nick Mate, director of cultivation at Forbin's Finest, a retail shop in Barrie, says after his arrest in 2006, he never dreamed he'd one day own and operate a business centered around cannabis. It's been a complete reversal uh, from where we were even five years ago, um, which, which is good. And it's something that I've believed in for a long time, and I'm, I'm really glad to see. Uh, opinions changing. Matei, among the first to receive licensing approval through the special grants offered by Vermont's Cannabis Control Board, providing opportunities to Vermonters with pot convictions. The state's pardons and expungements cleared the way for those looking to enter the industry. Because of the social equity program, we were able to uh, roll out year one with a retail and a cultivation, and that, that wouldn't have been possible without the, the, the not only the grants, but also um, some of the other help from the CCB. According to the Cannabis Control Board, the state granted 220 Vermonters pardons and expungements, continuing to provide services to ensure new business owners can find success as the industry lights up across the state. We need to reconcile with our past, and this feels like the first step towards doing that. And as for Forbin's finest, Nick Mate and his team say that they hope to one day see federal legalization, but until then are going to be focusing on building their brand, providing quality cannabis products to folks all across the Green Mountain State. We're live in Montpelier this morning, Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.